All right, hey everybody, welcome back. Um, happy Tuesday. So um, I hope yesterday's work with acceleration went well for you. Um, today we are going to continue section one, except today instead of acceleration, we're gonna start talking about force. I think I figured out how to have a better visual for you, I hope. Um, if my camera will connect. Okay, so a force is any push or pull on an object. Okay, so when you push that fun uh, circle door at the Cotton House Hotel, or if you pull on the door at PBS, or if you slide a bin across the floor, um, or you pick it up, or you bounce on a trampoline. Those are all forces. Gravity is a force, okay? Um, so force is described by strength and direction. Um, Okay, because if you punch something, you're exerting, you're using your strength and you're pushing in a certain direction. Okay, gravity is working in a certain direction and it's pulling you a certain amount. Okay, so it, it has strength and direction. Okay, so the unit that we use since we were talking about um, units of acceleration and velocity and things yesterday, the unit um used to talk about force is the newton okay and the abbreviation is a capital n so you may or may not have ever heard of sir isaac newton um but he is like super big in the physics world um, for a lot of his discoveries. And so the unit for force is named after him. So moving forward, forces affect the motion of an object, okay? So think about it, if you push a shopping cart, you're affecting how it moves. Before it was just standing still and if you push it, it moves. Um, when you walk, you are exerting force to move forward. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit more about this in a minute. Um, so one way that we talk about force is net force, okay? So net force, is a combo, so a combination of all forces on an object. So, like at the store, when you're pushing the shopping cart, so you're pushing it forward, but there's also gravity acting on it. There's also friction with the tires on the floor. Um, and so net force is just all the forces that are acting on an object. If you're swimming in a pool, there's the friction with the water. There's the gravity pulling you down, okay? Um, and so, or like when you're jumping on a trampoline, like you're jumping on the trampoline, so you're putting force on the trampoline and gravity is putting force on the trampoline. And if multiple people are on the trampoline, then multiple people are putting force onto the trampoline. So when we talk about net force, we're talking about all the things acting on an object. So a lot of times these are drawn by arrows. Um, and so, Let me back up. So to calculate net force, so all the forces acting on an object, there's a couple 
keys. Calculate net force. Okay, I'm gonna give you two rules. The first one is if force arrows go in the same direction add them together okay we'll see how this looks in just a minute okay the second rule is if they go in opposite directions subtract the smaller from the larger then go in the direction of the larger force. So, I'm about to draw a few examples to kind of show you what this looks like. Hopefully I can slide my paper up so that you can see. So, this is just a nice little box here on the floor. Okay, so, for the first example, if force arrows go in the same direction, add them together. So let's say we have a force 10 newtons to the right and seven newtons to the right. Okay, so we have seven newtons going to the right and 10 newtons going to the right. So we're going to add them together equals 17 newtons and remember we talked about strength and direction so that's why we had arrows pointing to the right and so we have 17 newtons to the right okay so we have the strength 17 newtons and the direction to the right okay so now let's have another example so this time, let's say the arrows go in opposite directions. So you have one arrow going this way, and let's say it's 30 newtons. We have an arrow going this way, and that's 20 newtons. Okay, so if they go in opposite directions, subtract the smaller from the larger. So we'll do 30 minus 20 equals 10 newtons. And then it goes in the direction of the larger force. So we have 30 newtons to the right and 20 newtons to the left. So we're going to go 10 newtons to the right. Okay, so now I'm going to do one more. We're going to go 5 newtons to the right and 5 newtons to the left. So what happens here is you do five minus five equals zero newton okay so this means that there is going to be no movement okay so your worksheet that you're going to do today has squares written just like this and you're going to calculate the net force on the box, okay? So the arrows, they don't have to be on this side 
going to the right. They could be over here pushing to the right. Okay. So in your book, it actually kind of uses a neat little picture. It has animals on the sides. So like maybe you just imagine a little man pushing. And then maybe over here, he's pulling. Okay. So think of, sorry, I got out of focus. Wherever the forces are going, it's somebody either pushing or pulling, okay? So like here, you have two people pulling away from the box. Here, you have two people pulling away from the box. I could have also drawn the arrows going toward the box and both people pushing the box, but in opposite directions so the force cancels out so you get no movement. All right, so that is all for today. Um, please don't hesitate to ask me if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for today. So good luck on your worksheet and let me know how it goes.